Welcome to Opus Health, Tampa Bay's elite medical center, where we offer dental, vision, primary care, urgent care, alternative medicine, IV therapy, and more to come. Along with wellness, weight loss, hormone replacement therapy, we are open seven days a week. You can reach us at 813-906-6737 or opushealth.org. We are located at 912 Channelside Drive in Tampa, Florida. You can book online or email us with any questions. Hello, my name is Jason Lowe. I just got my pro card last weekend at Junior USA's uh, Classic Physique. I'm here at Powerhouse Gym in Tampa, Florida, and we're shooting a workout video, training back, uh, floridaphysique.com. So I started off with a lat pull, a wide grip. Um, I do these to really start firing the lats, get to really focus on the stretch and then the contraction at the bottom, but really follow through with the full stretch, really get the lats going. Um, main focus is building that width. Um, usually this is a warm up, just really get the lats uh, activated. So. I'll do between three and four sets, laddering the weight a little heavier each time, a few few less reps each time. Usually start with about 15 reps. Um, By the last set, I might might get eight to 10. From there, we went on to a more compound movement, uh, power movement. We did bent over rows, bent over rows. uh, The lats are already firing. So personally, I'm a little weaker overhand grip, so we started with that. Started with overhand grip, once again, kind of laddered the weight. Uh, started with 135, 15 reps, you know, worked my way up to 315 for, I believe I did eight, eight or 10 reps on that. And um, I'll usually do a couple sets at the heavy weight, and then I go to the stronger, where I, my stronger area, which is underhand grip. Um, which really helps target a little lower on the lats and do a couple sets there and today everything was feeling a bit heavy so I did lower the weight and went for a little higher reps after that. I usually like to finish on a a heavy weight with the big compound movement but I was starting to feel it a little in the lower back so I dropped the weight and you know you got to listen to your body so I dropped the weight and did a few higher reps to finish it off with just to really burn those lower lats out. Yeah, I went from there to uh, dumbbell rows. And with the dumbbell rows, once again, it's all about that stretch and then pulling with the lats. You don't want to pull with the arms or with the shoulders. I see a lot of people pulling straight up and you're using more rear delts than, than lats when you're pulling straight up. So I like to really stretch it. I stretch it all the way down to the toe that is out in front and then I pull it towards the hip. I never even think about pulling the weight. I, I, my mind is thinking about pulling my elbow backwards. You know, I'm pulling my elbow back, you're gonna think more about using the lat than just pulling the weight to you, which you end up using your arm, your biceps, your shoulders. So uh, I really stretch and I pull it back towards the hip, not just straight up. Um, once again, in today, wasn't feeling 100% strength, but with the camera rolling, I still tried to go for those 150s. Probably wasn't the prettiest sets, but it felt good. And heaviest I've gone on those is 160s. That's all my, my gym back home goes up to. I really wish I could have tried the heavier dumbbells here, but it just wasn't happening today. From where we went to the, the um, hammer strength uh, low row, which I've noticed I just, my, my normal gym doesn't use that. I started going to another gym as well as my normal gym just because they have one of those machines and a couple other things I like, but it really targets that lower lower back area, the Christmas tree that everyone likes to see when you hit, get shredded. And uh, you know that has been a weak point on my back is the lower back. And that really targets the, the lower lats, that thickness in the lower back that, uh, that I was lacking. So I've been trying to throw that in on every back workout as much as I can. So 12 to 15 reps on that. And then final movement, 
uh, went back to focusing on that width. You know, I went for a, lap, a cable lap pullover. If your gym has a pullover machine, those are great too, but I love this superset um, because you can get the standing lap pullover and superset it with uh, an incline bench lap pullover, which I really love. Um, supersetting those two, you're hitting the that width from every angle. Um, you'll you'll be on fire by the end of this. I did 10 reps of each, uh, three to four sets, and you don't need a lot of weight. You're going to be feeling it on that second part of the pullover, and it's going to be burning. All right, this was Jason Lowe. Thanks for watching my back workout for FloridaPhysique.com.